In those moments when it's a condensed schedule or when there's injuries and you're, you've are you been called on and you've done great in your time in the back, do you put pressure on yourself in those moments to go, like, this is my chance now? How do you go through those game days when you know you're in the 11 or the 18 and it's your chance? Yeah, I mean, just my, my college background, I've, every day was stressful and pressure and everything you do, wake up early and, you know, go to bed late. Um, but I, I kind of embrace it. Like, I, I really like the pressure. I like stepping on the field and feeling, you know, the, the fans away or home. It's, it's a good feeling. It's something I actually do, it's kind of funny. I saw this Mike Tyson thing, um, probably on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, something. But he said before every fight, every boxing match, he, he says, I'm always nervous. And on the walkout, when they do the whole walkout into the MGM Grand and et cetera, he just says to himself, like every step, getting more confident. I'm more confident. I'm more confident. I've kind of embraced that a little bit, and it's kind of worked for me. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. don't mess with you on a plane either, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your path from a kid from Torrance, California, to get to West Point and, and be in the Army? I, my dad was in the Army for a little bit, so he, I kind of asked him going into my sophomore year of high school. I said, what, where do you think I should go to college? Because um, UCLA is right next to me. Uh, they have a great program, um, but he really wanted me to go at least check out West Point, and, and we went to a soccer camp that summer going into my sophomore year, and the, the campus is beautiful. You fall in love with the campus instantly. It's sitting right on the Hudson River, good, um, great views, hour train ride from New York City, a little north, and I really like the, the coach there, Coach Russell Payne. He had a lot of connections. He was the goalie coach under Jurgen Klinsmann on the full national team at the time. After Jurgen, he's he's still involved with the youth teams, and he kind of he kind of said like, "Look, I'm, you're you're a kid now. Like I, I was only 15 maybe at the time." He says, "Once once you come here, you let me try to develop you. You let the school like kind of develop you. You're you're gonna leave here a man." And obviously, my parents that's all they wanted to hear. Like they, my dad always told me once. Once you get through there, like, I know you'll be okay, like, throughout life. Like, I don't have to worry about you anymore. Is it easier now to be a professional athlete, not being at West Point? <laughs> There's so much to ask you there. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it's more so when you're there, you don't really think of it hard. Like, I don't know, because you're you're always so busy. The days the days feel long, the weeks fly by. That's, that's kind of a saying there. And once you get in, like, your, your routine, your schedule, your... You're, you kind of like, like I said earlier, you kind of embrace it. And that's what got me through some of the most challenging moments in my life. What'd you get your degree in then? Uh, minor in civil engineering and then majored in law. Okay. Yeah. Is there a life after soccer in law? Maybe, maybe we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Your family here, you live with Blake Bodily and his two dogs. And his girlfriend. And, whoa, well, like, you're like fifth wheel there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How's um, life at home with the Bodilys? Good. They're they're a, a great couple. Very mellow. Never never any yelling. Never any fighting. They're it's, it's funny. They're like they're best friends. We're we're all best friends, so it works out. You rent a room from them? No, we just same lease, same, same uh, okay. apartment lease. Yeah. Do you have a chore list? <laughs> um, Lauren, his his girlfriend, will kind of write down on a whiteboard, and me and Blake will just like look at it, and we'll just take turns doing something. And yeah. we'll eventually, get it done. Though. What's the worst part of uh, cleaning up? What's the worst chore you got then? Uh, I wouldn't say the worst part, but just the most annoying part is two golden retrievers. Summertime, they shed it. Oh yeah. You just you know, put on some new clothes right after uh, you wake up. They charge you right when you open the door. You just, you're just covered everywhere with, yeah. with dog hair. But no. Can't wear black. Yeah, can't wear black. <laughs>